What's going on now? Elaine? Oh, there are people, okay. Director General? Where'd she go? This is Elaine's supervisor badge. Maybe she wants to do something illegal, and she took it off. Hmm. Mine at last. work you're just gonna end up prolonging the pain I have to bring him back Irie whatever I do I just can't forget about him is this about the professor maybe there was something else that I forgot in some episode I Uh huh. Maya. Hmm. Ah, uh, of course. Now that I think about it, I always had an inkling it was you. After all, we shared a body once. Um. I see. <laughs> Maybe I'd have been better off taking a bullet just to clear my name once and for all. What are you trying to say? Overdose on this stuff and you're out for the count. Dead to the world. My plan was to get injured, knock myself out with the meds, and then head for the tower and that body. Why'd you kill the professor? He got in my way. My goal is finishing what we started in the clock tower. But isn't that what the professor wanted too? He was filled with regret. Indeed, he was. He thought the experiment 12 years ago was one big mistake. Not me, though. You feel the same way, don't you? I... I'm heading to the tower. It's time to make the dream a reality. The question is... What are you going to do? I mean, I'm not surprised, but hmm. there are still parts missing. Did you figure out where Elaine went? <laughs> <laughs> I think she headed for the clock tower. She left without us? <sighs> Come on, we need to catch up with her. This is about the experiment they did 12 years ago. The subject was forced to undergo personality processing, and ended up as a public official. I'll add this to my records. Oh boy. It's just getting more confusing, huh? This is Elaine's supervisor badge. Can we take this? Wait! That voice. It came from the lobby! Hmm. 
Weren't you flying on the robot or something? Like... Maybe I have hallucinations now. So the hour didn't change. Okay, well, it's a static image. It would help. Hell! Director General, wait! And there I was thinking I'd managed to give you the slip. I have to say, I didn't think you'd make it here this fast. Elaine, what are you planning? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to finish the experiment we started 12 years ago. Finish the experiment? I thought we were supposed to be stopping the tower. That was never part of the plan. The experiment was designed to fuse reality and dream together. From the very start, Astrum Close was built with that purpose in mind. It was supposed to be the Professor's crowning achievement. But he stumbled at the final hurdle, lost his nerve and shut the whole thing down. That's what caused the Nightfall catastrophe. For the last 12 years, the world's been adrift between reality and dream. Eustace controls the mechanism at the top of the clock tower. When we finally overwrite reality, the world will be reborn. Okay. The ruined deserts, the polluted seas, restored once and for all. You're going to replace everything with the dream world. Exactly. The nightmare of reality will come to an end. But everyone will be trapped in their dreams forever. Hal, you've spent most of the last seven days in the dream world. <laughs> she has a point. And you didn't even realize until the moment you woke up. The boundary between the waking world and our dreams is vague at the best of times. In the end, what difference does it make? And the hour still didn't change. Looks like we don't have much time left. No! Maya! Don't worry about me. I'm gonna stop her. Don't try following me. Our future is waiting for us just beyond here. I need you to believe in me. It's locked! We're stuck without the key. Was it definitely Maya inside the marionette just now? I don't know anymore. Maya? <laughs> we'll need to get the door open first. I bet somebody connected with the Institute will know what to do. Come on, Lily. Let's go. At least there's an indicator. But I guess that would be Ayuriri. If she's still alive. <laughs> Medical treatment complete. Opening pod cover. <sighs> Looks like her treatment's finished. Was she injured or something? I mean, prior. There's something we need to ask you. <laughs> Something's up with the whole episode, like it's awkward and like, I don't know how to explain it, like it's out of place with things. Or like the whole game, but maybe not as much as now. <laughs> Is there a way to open the door to the clock tower without the keys?
The keys are the only way to get the door open, but... Now that I think of it, I'm pretty sure the Prof knew about a secret override mechanism. I mean, that's how he got the door open 12 years ago. Yeah, because the keys were not here. Does anyone else know how to override the lock? Try and think. Even the tiniest lead could make a huge difference. Well, you. That will be the closest. It's probably a long shot, but here, take this. A pencil? Or a marker? <laughs> what is it? The message the prof left to me. I'm sure you'll find something to work with. Uh, we've had it multiple times. When you were about to shoot us, here. What happened here after you called me? Hmm. Right after we spoke, someone connected to Cecilia via AD. Well, I thought I'd try and talk to them, see what they had to say. I figured it could be Sonya who connected to Cecilia, right? What made you think that? When the bell rang out, Sonya had a reason for wanting to kill the professor. He blamed himself for not being able to control her. He used to wonder if things might have panned out differently 12 years ago. You know, if the Betas hadn't intervened. Oh. The thing is, I made it up there in time, and that still wasn't enough. I'd been wanting to speak with her again, given the chance. <clears throat> I let my guard down. I wonder if it was really Sonya. Oh. Go and stop her. You're the only one who can save her. Once you make it into the tower, head straight for the top floor. You better hurry. You're running out of time. Ah. This is why I'm waiting for you to bring back the clock tower. Time is a us. You must kill Hal Seal. You must ensure never awakes again. No doubt they will not. <sighs> right. Because the intro we know, but... Our observations indicate the clock tower key will return to the city in a little over three years. Wait, first of all... I don't think we had that before, but just to remember the positions maybe of the lasers. Hyri, I'm leaving this message for you in the event of my untimely death. When the experiment wrought disaster and plunged the world into this endless night, I ordered Sonya's son to be brought back from the nightfall epicenter. Uh huh. I'm talking about Halcyon, of course. <laughs> well Okay <laughs> Good to know <laughs> I guess now That Really makes sense everything now <laughs> I assume you understand why Sonya betrayed us And hijacked the experiment Her demand Resurrect her son A victim of such dreadful Groundless persecution Keith delivered young Hal to me four years ago. He remembered the moment he died, but struggled to process it. Was it just some nightmarish vision? Or was his life itself just an endless waking dream? I hid the truth from him. He was just an innocent child. I couldn't bring myself to tell him what really happened. It seemed too cruel. He eventually discovered the truth, though following a trail through his own past. This world we live in. The truth is, 
We are all living out our lives in a facet of Sonya's dream. Reality is being swallowed up, distorted, an entire world manifested just to keep him alive. Until the failed clock tower experiment is brought to a close, Hal's existence remains in limbo. But then I'll die anyways. So... What's the result, really? Which is why I'm waiting for you to bring back the clock tower key. Time is against us. You must kill Halcyon. You must ensure he never wakes again. No doubt this message will come as a shock to you. So it's gonna be like an ultimate sacrifice to save the world and die, but like... Ugh. We'll see. After all, put simply, I'm asking you to murder Sonya's son. But you mustn't hesitate. Do not get involved with the boy. You can't allow your feelings to stay your hand. <laughs> Professor. How long have you been there? Since the part where you were talking about killing Hal. I see. What's gotten into you, Professor? What happened between you two? Hal is destined to meet his end when the clock tower bell rings out. His existence causes him so much pain. Oh, I'm fine, okay. You must let him go, Maya. You have to accept his fate. You're acting crazy! I had a dream, Professor. Just once. But I can't let go of what I saw. It was a beautiful night. We were setting out on a trip beyond the dome. You were seeing us off. Nightfall was behind us. Astrum Close was open to the world. If Hal dies, we'll never feel that happiness again. Was that really the future, though? Hal must die. It's the only way to put a stop to the Nightfall catastrophe. You have to believe me! That future is out there somewhere! I don't know how to reach it, but there has to be a way. Maya. And she was searching for it. Listen to me. Here's what I'll do. During tomorrow's experiment, I'll put you to sleep. I'll isolate your consciousness. Your ability will be singled out and merged with AD. It'll take time to thoroughly analyze your capabilities. Three years should suffice. But, with any luck, in three years' time I'll be in a position to override the AD network, and you'll be able to use your precognitive abilities to lead the city to salvation. If the future you saw really exists, you'll find a way there. Are you sure? Be warned, this won't be easy. You might not even survive the isolation process. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll find the future where Hal survives. I'll show him the way. I just need you to believe in me, Professor. Maya. That's a lot. We need to hurry up and find her. Okay. 